Good afternoon. Whoa. My name is Guy V. I was a United States Marine that was in DFAS from 1987 until 1990. And uh, all but one of my friends are dead. We were young, healthy Marines. And uh, all of them are dead. Um, only the mutants remain like myself. But all of you are victims. Victims of neglect, yes, certainly. And some of that was that we just didn't know what some of the chemicals and radioactive materials would do to you. But now you're, you're a victim of pressure. Now you're a victim of tyrants. Because since 1987, they've recognized the Bannister Federal Complex as a Superfund cleanup site. The EPA found 1,173 toxic, carcinogenic, mutagenic chemicals at the Bannister site in 1987. 1,173. That was on file, and the cleanup plan at that time would have cost $686 million. Now, Centerpoint got $120 million to clean it up today. That means they're giving them four cents on the dollar after you account for inflation. Okay. Then on top of that, in 1987, after Three Mile Island, they created something called the nu National Nuclear Emergency Response Team. And the first and only time it was ever called out was to the Bannister Federal Complex. That was the Prometheum incident. I say incident, but that was just because they finally discovered it. They've been systematically violating their own safety protocols for over a decade. And that criminal negligence all came to roost, and then they shoved it under another rug. Now, what do you call it when people violate their oath? When people violate their duty, when people violate the law and the regulations of the of the United States, you call it tyranny. Okay, that's why you're being oppressed because this is a conspiracy that's been running for three decades now. Okay, the National Nuclear Security Agency still will not allow Wayne Knox access to that site and claim it is due to national security issues. How are the safety and environmental records a national security issue? It's been a lie since day one. It's still a lie today. They have gotten and then NIOSH to come in and tell even more lies. For example, one office in DFASC, out of 117 people, 42 died of pancreatic cancer. Okay? Uh, Dr. Ellen Page came here from NIOSH and stood up and lied to us all and said there's no such thing as a pancreatic cancer cluster because nothing causes pancreatic cancer. Well, apparently she can't read a material data sheet, okay? Because any one of the volatile or organic compounds like benzene, toluene, trichloroethylene is known to cause pancreatic cancer. It's on the material safety data sheet that the DOT requires every one use when they're transporting it, okay? Oh, by the way, those also organic compounds also cause brain damage, nerve damage, blindness, psychosis, and death. Now, that's what's in the groundwater at Bannister. And for decades, under Mary Rury, they were pumping untreated, contaminated groundwater into, the, into Indian Creek which then flowed right into the Blue River. Well, going back to what she said about the Army Corps of Engineers starting to dig around. If, in case you haven't been following it, they dug out a huge hole 
there at the Lydia Bridge to redo that bridge. Then they dug out the whole riverbed all the way around the hill to do the Indian Creek Trail. Now there's a huge dredging operation going on and they don't even say what it's for. Okay, so basically they're getting cleaning up surreptitiously the places that would be the easiest to pr prove their lives. Okay? Other than the site which they control and still deny access to. Thank you, and don't be a victim anymore, not of oppression.